For the first time since Christopher Nolan brought Batman back into the gritty darkness he belongs in, DC Warner Brothers is riding a nice high thanks to the success of Wonder Woman. Thanks, Patty Jenkins. Now all eyes have turned to this November's Justice League to see if they can keep that momentum going like a slinky barreling down a set of stairs. Steppenwolf is the movie's villain, and thanks to some recently released LEGO sets images, we now have our first clue as to what to expect from Steppenwolf in Justice League. I'm Ken Napsok, a 242-piece LEGO set, and this is Collider News. In this day of hot scoop movie news and leaked set photos, it's nice to know that some of the best information comes from just lurking around toy aisles. Editor's note, do not lurk in toy aisles. New images for three sets have been released. Light spoilers for anyone afraid of Danish brick toys ruining movies. The sets are called Battle of Atlantis, Nightcrawler Tunnel Attack, and Batmobile Airlift Attack. That last one, the poetically titled Batmobile Airlift Attack, gives us the much anticipated first glimpse at Steppenwolf. And much like in that deleted Batman v Soup scene, he is a big giant horned gray Thing. So collect your winnings if you bet on that being the design. Now, keep in mind, LEGO sets are not the be-all, end-all of what will appear on screen. Recently, images of a Supreme Leader Snoke LEGO minifig showed the Star Wars baddie rocking a house coat like he was Elliot Gould in the Ocean's Eleven movies. So let's wait to actually see what hits the big screen. Game of Thrones and Rome actor Kieran Hines is playing Steppenwolf, which does put this very important role in great hands. Justice League is set for November 17th release, and for the first time in years, DC Warner Brothers staff have circled that date on their wall calendar with hearts. For more on this story, catch Movie Talk tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Time. I'm Ken Napsok. Stay tuned here for Collider News.